Hi, everybody. Welcome to Stop Being Sold, a community of informed consumers who are sick and tired of being sold financial products they don't understand or need. So if you're tired of being a transaction, hit that subscribe button and also like the content of this video. It helps us grow the channel and also lets us know that you like what the content that we are producing. How are you today, Brian? Hey, Michelle, I'm doing great. How about yourself? Fantastic. Thank you. So today's topic, we're going to talk about seven reasons, well, the reasons why someone should or might want to, I should say, um, buy an annuity. Nice. As you know, we do lots of videos. Um, anybody, you've been on the channel for five minutes, you know that we do quite a few videos on annuities because it is a complex product that people oftentimes don't understand what they have or what they're what they per what they are about to purchase. Right. And most of the time, Michelle, that this product, we do a lot of these videos because of the fact that these products are sold more than bought, if that makes sense. And we're talking in the billions of dollars a year annuities are sold. So got it. Can you give an example on how they're sold? Like, what does that look like? Um, OK, so basically someone might respond to an ad for, let's say, um, let's say you left your job and someone targets you for a 401k rollover, right? You'll see ads on Facebook that uh, invite you into maybe a seminar. Hey, you lost your job, come to this seminar. We'll teach you how to safely preserve your money. Right. And they're using them keywords like safety to get you out of the risk of the market. But now, right now, you're starting to see, Michelle, a lot of advertisements being out there for, oh, my gosh, it's time to get your money out of the market. Uh, the market's crashing. It's going to yeah. plummet. So they're using fear, and which is a problem because this is the time you should be buying this market as we're pulling back. Right. So they use it's, just, it's psychological and they use fear. All right. Thanks for that. All right, so let's dive in. Uh, seven reasons to buy an annuity. What is the first reason? Okay, a lot of people, Michelle, buy annuities for the guarantees that they offer, okay? And the key with this is if you are buying an annuity, you truly want to buy the contractual guarantee of either income or growth. That's the two main reasons that you buy an annuity. So like if you're buying, um, you want the guarantees of income either now immediately or in the future, you'll buy like an immediate annuity or you'll buy an income annuity, right? And then if you're after growth, maybe you just want higher interest rates in what you're earning in a CD or your savings account, right? So you'll buy a fixed annuity or you'll go after a MIGA, so. Got it. Real quick, we did a video, um, it just covers all types of annuities. We will put that below right here. I think it's really important. If you don't know what a fix, don't know what a MIGA is, an income annuity, we cover all that in that video on types of annuities. So we'll put that yes. below. All right. So guarantees is number one. Mm -hmm. What's number two? Uh, predictable income. We just talked about having the income coming in, but predictable income in the future. Okay. You're going to guarantee yourself with an annuity, a set amount of income sometime in the future. It could, like I said, it could be 30 days from now. It could be five years or even 10 years from now. And the annuities can calculate your income to the penny at that future date based on the guarantees that they offer. So you'll see like, we're going to give you 7% uh, roll up. They call it a roll up mm -hmm. each year for maybe the next 10 years or until you turn on income there you can calculate to the penny exactly what your income is going to be by looking at them contractual guarantees inside each one of these different policies so got it okay number three uh tax deferral this is a big one uh, you know annuities michelle are taxed when you withdraw your funds right so unlike other accounts that hit you with capital gains like mutual fund you know mutual funds give you 1099 sure. or uh, capital gains at the end of the year, but CDs will give you a 1099 at the end of each year, even if you haven't cashed them in. So people will buy annuities for the tax deferral. Okay. But one key with this, we talked about in the beginning, talked about people getting targeted for 401k rollovers. Well, right. your 401k, your IRA is already tax deferred. Right. Tax deferred. right. So there's no additional benefit to buy an annuity for the tax deferral if you've already got a qualified retirement plan. Okay. So be careful on that. All right. So what's the next one? Um, let's say, Michelle, that you've maxed out all your other accounts. 
your 401k, you met the limit that you're allowed to, your Roth IRA, you maxed it out for the year and you can no longer invest any more money. So what people do is they use the annuities because there's no limit to the amount of funds that you can put inside a non-qualified annuity, meaning that that annuity that you purchase is bought with cash, you know, out of your checking account, savings account, or whatever it may be, and it's not an IRA, okay? Your 401k, your IRAs today all have contribution limits on an annual basis, right? not non-qualified annuities. So people use these after they've maxed out their other accounts. Now, here's the key with this. Make sure that if you are going to buy an annuity, and this is you, you've already, you know, you, first of all, max out them other accounts. If sure. someone says, well, you got 50000 sitting in cash in the bank, and they haven't asked the question, if you've maxed out your other accounts first to get the tax deferral and to get the company match, like in your 401k, you don't need to be buying one of these for this purpose, okay? But those of you that do, you've already maxed out everything. This is just another way for you to accelerate your savings. Got it. Okay. So what's the next one? What is this number five now, right? This is exactly the environment we're in today, removing risk from your portfolio. And depending on the annuity, you can get uh, a guaranteed interest based on the contract, like a fixed annuity or a MIGA. Say they're giving you a 3% fix for five years. To some people, Michelle, just the, the fact of knowing that they got a guaranteed rate coming in, even though it's a smaller rate right. against the volatility and the fear of the stock market right now, they'll go into these. Okay. And same thing with indexed annuities. Um, you you remove the risk, but you still want some growth. So you go in the indexed annuities because you can still participate because are we always right when we say that, oh my gosh, I got to get out of the market. How many people sell at the bottom and they buy at the top all the time? A lot. A lot. A lot. Okay. It's, emo so it's an emotional decision. You right? can't time it. So, and so, but index annuities allow you to participate in the gains of an index up to your caps or your participation rates. But if you're trying to remove risk from your portfolio, like your 401k or your, the stock market IRAs, whatever you may have, variable annuities still have stock market risk because they are based on the underlying assets of the sub accounts in there. It could be mutual funds, could be stock accounts, bond accounts, whatever it may be. So be careful. If you're trying to remove risk from a, your portfolio and the advisor is trying to get you to buy a variable annuity, wrong one. Got it. All right. Number six. Uh, diversification. This is simple. We've heard this over the years. If you've been investing for a long time, always try to diversify your portfolio. And by adding an annuity as an asset class to your overall retirement, you are going to diversify your portfolio. Some people, Michelle, will use annuities like a bond in their overall mix of assets. Okay. Got it. Okay. Well, that makes perfect sense. Yep. All right. And the last reason that someone would want to buy an annuity. Uh, a lot of people buy it, Michelle, just for the estate planning purposes. So most annuities will avoid probate in many states. And when you pass, the insurance company pays directly to your beneficiaries by passing probate. So there's one big reason that people do that. And um, some people will buy this, Michelle, if they can't qualify for a life insurance policy uh -huh. due to their health reasons. And they say, okay, well, I want, I, I want to set my beneficiaries to be able to get this funds and maybe funds in a certain way, like an income stream. Uh, for their children to make sure they don't blow all the money once they pass, you know. So uh, estate planning is the um, uh, another big reason to purchase an annuity. So if you if someone called you to, today, I mean you've been in the you've been a financial advisor for over twenty four years now. If someone called you tomorrow or whatever, somebody one of your clients said, talk to my brother, you know, whatever it is, and they're looking to buy an annuity. What is the number one? piece of advice that you would give somebody? Um, I'll tell you, this This actually just happened. Um, a week ago, I had um, a, a client, long-term client, call and says, you got to see my brother. He's scared to death, the stock market. He's freaking out every right. day. And I said, sure, no problem. Let's, let's take a look at this. And we sat down with him. And so I just asked questions. And the questions were, what are you fearing? Well, I just can't 
look at CNBC and I see that my portfolio is going down every day and then bouncing back the next day and back and forth, back and forth. I said, um, aren't you retired? And he said, yeah. So, well, why are you sitting back watching your portfolio on a daily basis? Once you got to retirement, your goal is to retire and enjoy life, if I remember right. right. And he says, you know, you're right. And he says, well, I don't need to be doing this. I need out of the stock market. What can I do? Yeah. And at that time, I said, are you still after growth or do you need income? And again, it all depends on what the consumer is trying to do. If you needed growth, you go this direction. If you needed income, like immediately you go this direction. If you didn't need income for a couple of years, or was going to wait till 72 to take out his RMDs, then you go this direction. And these are custom products. So that's what I would do is ask a lot of questions, questions. pull out my little um, yellow notepad and ask questions write it down, just sit back and think about it. But a lot of clients are, are the same, Michelle. And they go one of three different directions uh, if they're buying an annuity. Income now, income in the future, or just steady, safe growth. growth. Safe, safe growth. Yeah, guaranteed yeah. growth, right? Okay. Thank you for answering that. I would no also problem. say you know, it's a great thing. Start with where you are. This is what we talk about on this channel all the time. You have to know where you are and what your objectives are. What are your goals? Where do you where are you now? Where do you want to be? And then back into it. Yes. Rather than saying this is the financial product that I want. Um, and then also like, you know, do the research. Yep. Speaking of which, we did a video. B Y O R. Do your own oh, yeah, research. Yeah, exactly. Do your own research. Do it all. Um, we did a video. Okay, a sign made for that. B Y O R. <laughs> Put it up here. Oh, please. Right. We did a uh, we did a um, a video on reasons not to buy an annuity, and if you've made yes. it this far in this video, check it out next, because Brian makes a really good case for why not to buy an annuity, and then yeah. you come to your own conclusion now that you know why you would and why you wouldn't. And you guys' comments on the on the channel are helping us create yeah. even better videos because we're just answering your questions for you. So thank you. Keep leaving them if you have questions yes. about this video or anything about annuities or. We do things on IRAs, 401k. Just leave us a comment and we'll write back um, and maybe do a video on it. So yep. on that note, thank you, Brian, for this. If you stuck around at the end and you like this content, please hit that like button. Appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again, Brian. And thank you, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.